Hey Floss Tube, how you guys doing? It's your girl Lori here, also known as Sharky Citra on this channel and on Instagram. We talk about cross stitching on this channel and today is a special video because it's my 2024 whip parade. So I'm just going to be parading my whips during this video. I'm going to try and get through this without my phone running out of memory. So fingers crossed on that. Um, quick note, I'm a little more made up than I usually am because I had a photo shoot today for the poll and it's also my makeup's like heavy and in a state of decomposition <laughs> because it got hot <laughs> let's just say that like that's why my hair is in this whatever thing because like I was so hot I just clipped it up at the end and I was like oh so anyways that was a lot of fun if you guys want I'll show you some pictures on Instagram um I haven't got my edits back yet but yeah could be fun so anyways back to the cross stitching which is what y'all are here for so I'm thinking how am I gonna do this here's all my whips look at the colors <laughs> aren't they nice most of that is opalescent too, which also makes me very happy. So, hmm, how are we going to do this? Okay, I've got a few things that are still on like either scroll frames or the bars for my scroll frames. So let's go through those first. Let's go through the Teresa Wensler section, which is pretty small. And I'm going to start out by showing you guys my Teresa Wensler UFO. <laughs> uh, UFO means unfinished object. And it's stated as such in that it has been started. And I haven't touched it in decades, like probably with an S. Yeah, um, definitely is one decade, maybe, maybe two. I don't know. Like it's been a while, but this is the Egyptian sampler. I don't know why I keep it on the bars. Like you would think I'd just yank it off because obviously I haven't been using it. But I think when I, this became a UFO was like, when I was on the downswing originally from doing cross stitch. So I, I didn't feel the need for the bar, so I just let let it keep it. I should finish this one. I'm not too far off. I'm done. As you can see, I've struck border. Um, I've got to do an over one face of the pharaoh there. So uh, also, I'm, I think I've done a little bit of backstitch on the border. Wow, look at me. <laughs> um, when I'm being good, I try to backstitch Teresa Wensler's as you go because there's a lot of backstitch on there. And I saved all the backstitching on the end on my son's birth announcement sampler and I felt like I needed therapy after that so I try not to do that anymore. This one is a whip that you guys have seen not too recently. This is Teresa Wensler's Peacock Tapestry. This piece I have been working on for a while. It is kind of it's near and dear to my heart because it's my first Teresa Wensler that I discovered. So but yeah been working on the peacock's tail primarily and got this much done just the top part of border done minus all the diamond eyelets and there's a lot of like crisscross lattice like back stitching and some like gold cord that goes in here I haven't done that yet just because I know I got a ways to go and I don't want my fluffy eyelets to get all squished from sitting up here for so long so yeah I'm working my way down the border and Still got this whole branch to do. Still got a lot of the tail to do. I've got some good headway on the tail though. And then all the lower nonsense still needs done. And I haven't fully finished the border on the bottom. As you can see, I've kind of kind of gotten there, but not fully. I just, I went far enough to make sure I had enough fabric. Cause as you can see, I made an oops when I aligned my piece on the fabric here, <laughs> but I have enough, so we're all good. It's just gonna be a little wonky, but once it's framed, you won't know. So who cares? Alrighty. Next, I have a Mirabilia here that is on a frame. This one is on one of my older frames. And it's just one of those where it's at that situation where I don't have that much further to go on it. So I feel like if I yanked it off this scroll frame and put the tape on it for um, these style of bars that I use, which are my new go-to, seems like it'd be a waste of tape because... She's almost done, really. This is the Renaissance Mermaid. And my only gripe with her is she's not on an opalescent, but I like this color enough that I decided to deal with it. I still complain though all the time about it. <sighs> Arm workout. <laughs> okay, I did her skin over one too. Isn't she pretty? I think she has a really pretty face. Like her profile, I think is real pretty. She's got some gorgeous, like a beaded choker. I can't wait to do that part. I haven't done the beads yet though, because I like to wait, especially with these types of scroll frames. But she's pretty fleshed out. I just gotta fill in a few colors on the tail and then the rest is all beads. 
So yeah, but she's cool. This fabric, it's showing up okay. Like it's a tanzanite kind of bluey purple. Um, this was from the, let's see, she on her label, she labels it Crazy Hamster, um, but she's got an eBay like page. Um, I'll just link it down below because I don't know how you pronounce it. Kento Kenti or something like that. I could be adding some syllables in that or omitting either. Ah, shit, I lost my eyelid. You know it's going to happen when you start twisting things the wrong way. There we go. All right. Now I got a couple chatelaines over here. Now these two are funny. Um, because, so see the colors? <laughs> oh, that's a wrinkle. Um, I thought it was a hair. <laughs> but um, these two fabrics I bought at the same time from Silk Weavers, which I don't buy from them anymore. One of these is Parkland. I want to say this one is Parkland. And I can't remember the name of the, the other one. But I bought them both in mind for these designs. And I was starting this one first and I decided I like the richer green for it. So, and this is Serengeti, which I'm thinking I might put this one on the bars first. Hang on, let me see which way's up. Okay, this way's up. Not a lot done on this, and as you can see, this piece is ginormous. So that's another reason I'm planning on getting it on there. Isn't the, the middle square, all the beads, isn't that pretty? Love it. I'm working on the elephant panels here of the top ones done. That's kind of how I remember my up, <laughs> is I, I tend to do for the top first. But what's cool though is once I'm done with that, there's these cool little grass huts that go around these little corners here. And I'm excited to do those because they've got some specialty stitches in them that are really fun looking. But yeah, I'm thinking this one's going to go on the bars next because I've been itching to do more chatelainings. And then this is also chatelaine. This is Japanese Zen Moss Garden. You guys saw this not too terribly recently. Don't have a ton done here. But there's that. I haven't marked my up on this one, which is a problem because there's nothing to orient me. I guess it doesn't matter because the stitches go the same way either way. But yeah. There is that Japanese Zen Moss Garden. I do love this one. I, I was just getting to the fun part when I rotated off of it, but I'd been on it for a long time. Okay, so that's all the stuff that is like on bars except for like my current whip. And it's my current whip and then it's on the, the, the frame, the stand, but I'm getting ready to rotate off of it. So probably when I take it off to show you guys, it probably won't go back on. I'll probably put something else on. All right, now we got the massive pile of the rolled up whips. So let's just grab one and see what it is. I think I know what this is. I believe it's a Bella Filipina. I always forget her name. <laughs> Something of Atlantis. But it's a mermaid. This fabric is Bliss by um, Ships Manor. Love that company. They're pretty quick too when you order the fabric. Not opalescent, but these colors were just so rich and yummy like I didn't care. So yeah, she's very ghostly because I'm gonna do her skin over one, but I wanna stitch the areas around it first. So I haven't, I haven't touched her in a hot minute. <laughs> so I should, but she was the first Bella Filipina I bought and started because I was like, yay, a purple mermaid, you know? And then the floodgates opened with the Bella Filipinas and then it turned out that this gal back here made in a tubataha was the first one I actually did finish. All right, let's make a pile down here. Cause this is, this is a lot. I think this one right here is another Bella Filipina. Oh, try not to cause an avalanche. This is Tala, Deity of the Stars. This fabric is Galaxy by Mystic Fabrics and it's gorgeous. So yeah, just a, a humble, humble start on this one. But yeah, you can see the direction we're going. So yeah, me likey. I do want to get her out again cause she's, her colors are fun. Obviously all this stuff is fun or I wouldn't stitch it. Okay, this is, I believe, um, hang on, I got a fluffy, there's a fluff on here, I need to get off, there we go. Um, this is the Dark Queen of the Sea and there's not, don't make fun of me, there's not a lot done on this one. <laughs> Where's the top, okay, here we go. So basically I got her hips and I started doing some skin because I'm doing her skin over one 
and I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. And I'm thinking about changing some colors. I think I'm going to leave this color here because I like how contrasty it is with the blue and the green. But she's got like this part here is a fish. I am changing the colors of the fish because they are pink and yellow. And I'm like, a dark queen would not have pets that are pink and yellow. So I'm going to make the uh, make the colors a little bit more on the goth side. Not like full goth, but you know, a little, little less cheery and happy. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is you? Now, some of this stuff I haven't touched in a while, so... Ah, I see. This is the Queen Mermaid by Nora Corbet or Mirabilia Designs. This is on Opalescent Banshee by Fabrics by Stephanie. I must say, I have never seen another piece of Banshee that looks like this, so don't, like, run and order some and hope it looks like this. Usually it's more, like, navy blue and dark. I just got lucky, I guess, because I do really like this this fabric. I think it's cool, and I think it's perfect for her. She's not too terribly far from done. I'm also going to do her skin over one so you can see, like, the ghostly outline of where her skin is. But I think I'm going to go for tail next, just because I don't love doing over one. <laughs> I have to be, like, in a mood for it, or like, all right, I'll do the over one. So I don't like saving it for last either, though, because then... I don't, well, I mean, usually I bead last, so I can't say I'd be doing my least favorite thing last, you know, because if I'm doing the thing I don't like, like Boku backstitching or something, and I've been doing it and doing it, and it's like, oh, I'll just do it, it's almost done, and I'm like pushing myself to finish it, and I'm not enjoying it, then when I finish, I want to fling it away from me, you know, so I try to finish it on like something I like, like beading, you know. It's hard sometimes, though, because a lot of times I just want to start beating. So sometimes I don't save that for last. All right. I'm trying to pick carefully so I don't cause an avalanche. This is the <laughs> Gypsy Queen, which I renamed Tribal Queen because Gypsy's a racial slur. She's real close to done. Um, but I'm, like, savoring her. That and She's a good piece. Like, if I'm feeling, like, stagnant in stitching... I can get her out and she re-sparks me. So I kind of save her for that a little bit. I just got a little bit left on the skirt here. Got a lot of beads. I haven't done her skin yet. I also need to put some whisper up here as well. Haven't done that yet. This is also that eBay seller that goes as crazy hamster. And it's kind of a, it's actually showing up not too bad. Usually this piece really grays out, but yeah, it's kind of a more purpley tanzanite. But there's a few spots that kind of seem kind of greenish, you know? So, I do like her. I wish she was opalescent, but alas, we can't always have everything we want. And I like this fabric color too much for her, and I was just like, mwah. That's it. Okay, let's pick a big one. I think... Just if I'm guessing, I think this is Amphitrite, Queen, Goddess of the Sea. Now, see, I've messed everything up. Okay, we're good. I think this is Amphitrite. Yep, it is. Amphitrite, Queen, Goddess of the Sea, a very large Bella Filipina. Oh, and she's upside down. Hang on. I love this fabric. This is, I think, I think, Calypso by Under the Sea Fabrics. And this piece is huge. Like... This spans like five pages here, and I've got another set of pages at the top, so. But yeah, not a ton of pro. I mean, I want to say not a ton of progress, because I'm not even on like a third done, you know, so. Got a long way to go. I mean, look how big this is, so. I should pull her out and give her some love. Like, that part where I stopped, like, that's her waist. So we got her whole upper body and like her throne and the stuff above her head to go, so yeah. We got some ways to go. Rolly, rolly, rolly. I'm getting an arm workout again. My arm's already tired from doing that pole work, pole photo shoot. Alrighty. Let's do this one. Um, I'm thinking Queen Mary Posa from Mirabila. I'm real impressed that I'm remembering a lot of these because I'm usually awful with names. Oh, I, did. I knew I was going to do this at one point. Okay, so this was a piece of fabric that I ironed and I was getting ready to start something on it. And I didn't want it to get wrinkled, so I rolled it up. So there's nothing on here yet. <laughs> what was I going to do on this piece? This is Starburst by uh, Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers. I think a Bella Filipina was what I was planning on starting. Yeah, it was a Bella Filipina. Can't remember what her name is, though. And then I have another piece of Starburst. 
Yes, right here, let's pull it out. That looks a little different. And this is where Mariposa Queen is. So that's why I confused the two. This is a wild piece, but I love it. Because this piece is kind of wild too. She's got a very bright colored dress and a lot of bright colored butterflies and stuff around her. So I do want to pull this one out soon just because she's fun. Like, and she's one that like, I didn't really look at too much when she came out. Like, cause the picture sucks, you know, <laughs> the stock picture at least. But seeing other people post their whips of this on like Instagram is what made me go, Ooh, I might have to, to check that one out. So I'd like to get more progress on there that, you know, to make sure she doesn't clash because I'm thinking she's going to go real well with this fabric. And I know some people are like, Oh, that's kind of wild. And it's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't care. Let's see. I think this as well is a piece with no stitching on it. Yes. Cause I pulled this for the temptress of the cursed sea by Bella Filipina. So, and this is another piece of galaxy, same thing that Tala deity of the stars was stitched on. I bought like a full yard of it and I love that stuff. All right. I'm thinking this is fairy moon, um, by Mirabila designs. Yuppers. And this is a piece of Da Vinci by picture this plus. Now I will say the more recent pieces of Da Vinci that I've bought have been more of a funky purpley color than like a nice blue, but I'm liking her. I am going to change her hair color and I haven't decided what that's going to be yet, but I've got a big ass white skirt to work on in the meantime. So I don't have to worry about making that choice just yet. I did stitch on her not too terribly long ago. Doo -doo 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 -doo. She long though. Look at that. Okay. Here. I think this is a Chatelaine. I think this is my rainforest mandala. Yes, this is another one I want to put on soon because it's got fun little leafy things on it. All right, not much to show here. Working on the central portion. Got the beads done and I switched the center treasure, trying to make it to where you can see it. Uh, it's a butterfly. Gosh, I'm trying to show it to, yeah, there you go. It's getting kind of blurry. Yeah, this is a piece of kaleidoscope by Fabrics by Stephanie. I love this fabric because it like comes out different every time because basically it's like a rainbow mixture for the most part, hence the name Kaleidoscope. But it always kind of has like predominant blues and greens to it. So it's good for mermaids. And I decided it'd be good for the rainforest because that's what I think rainforests are. So it's predominantly blue green. And then a lot of other colors like for the flowers and the birds and animals and butterflies and what not. So that's what I was thinking of for a rainforest. And the floss toss worked, so I went with it. <laughs> All right, now this piece, <laughs> this is deep blue sea mandala. This fabric, I'm not sure if it is silk weaver or if it's fabrics by Stephanie. I want to say it's silk weaver, but I'm thinking of restarting this piece. Here's what I got done. Central portion. Did I bead? No, I did not bead yet. Uh, I did those starfish in the corner just because I'm like, there needs to be something obviously sea, sea creature related, but I don't know. I'm thinking, I don't like how straight blue this is. I'm wanting kind of more of a blue green. So I'm thinking about changing the color of this one. I feel like I haven't gotten too far yet. You know, that it's not too late to turn back or at least a waste to turn back. So, yeah, I don't know. I just want something juicier, uh, maybe slightly more tropical because, you know, there's a lot of coral reefs in this piece here and I want something a little more Caribbean kind of color, not just like deep blue. I don't know. Like, I'm just not feeling it, you know, and I was, I like was not picking it up because I like sea creatures and sea designs and stuff. And I'm like, why haven't you worked on that more? And it's like, uh, I'm kind of eh about the color. And I remember I bought the piece from Silk Weavers and the piece from Fabrics by Stephanie. And I'm like, oh, pick the one you like the best. And then I was like, kind of don't like either of them. But I felt like I was like, oh, just stitch it. So see, this is why I keep buying fabrics because then I start stitching on them when I'm not 100% love on them. They don't get finished. Alrighty, so let me show you the 
Current Whip. Um, this is a Chatelaine Designs Misty Morning Vineyard, which is fun because it's got peacocks on it. And eventually when I start beating, it's going to have like grapevines and stuff on it too. Uh, never mind all the million clay by Kims that are on here. But let's get it unrolled. And I've got, hesitate to say that I'm at the halfway point because I kind of am. I've got the, the peacock tails done and, you know, the grapevines all the way around. Really the halfway point would be right down the middle there. But, you know, not everything is done up here. I've just got the pillars for the outermost lattice work, you know. So, and I haven't done, like, these little bits. I haven't filled in these squares. I haven't done the beads and the vines yet. Like, there's some things I haven't done. But I don't I feel like I'm kind of halfway because I've crossed the halfway point with some heavy stuff, you know, in my opinion. But, yeah, look at the peacocks. Aren't they pretty? Yes, I love it. So yeah, this was the piece I was working on and I'm thinking I'm going to put Serengeti on there now. So, is that it for my whips? I've got a couple little minor UFOs, like just little things like, here's a little Christmas ornament, Happy Horror Days. That's what it looks like. That's all I've got done. So like little things like that. Um, got a lot of stuff kitted up to start. So maybe I'll need to do a 2024 to start parade or something like that though if it goes like it did last year I'm not going to start everything that I'm planning on so that could be a thing but anyways that's my whip parade quick and dirty just the way I wanted it so um yeah I will see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye